like to say that. Thank you. Again, again I believe you have a Lachmir for us. Please, please introduce it. And then we'll just move on. Go ahead. Commemorates his, um, his 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 martyrdom. So, inshallah, this poem is written in memory of him. Sand in the land of Karbala. Sand in the land of Karbala. So cute. Akbar, you said your faith, yet did pride of a shroud. The prophet is most proud, heaven to you has bowed. Hero of Karbala, we shall cry. Wa Hosseina, I recall your last words. Shaken were both the worlds, death to us. I love to hear Zainab now has no one Layla is all alone Sand in the land of Karbala Sand in the land of Karbala Thank you so much for those beautiful, beautiful words, beautiful energy, and beautiful poetry in honor of Allah Akbar Islam. Before I end, I want to take you to the moment that Imam Hussein Islam heard the strike upon the head of Allah Akbar Islam. And there's some beautiful Arabic poetry where the poet compares the strike on the head of Allah Akbar Islam to the strike on the head of his father, Imam Hussein's father, Imam Ali Al Islam in the Mosque of Kufa. And subhanAllah, one asks how such a heart can bear to see two strikes in his life, one on his father and one on his son. Hussein, here's the strike, the strike of thunder. His son struck just like the, his father, Haida. I saw Hussein by his tent almost collapse, choking from his tears, seeping through his teeth, gaps 
as if his heart exploded, or his soul perhaps, hearing his son cry, Farewell, O oh my father. He cried, Where are you, my son? With his voice hoarse, Ali Akbar's blood flowed and it blinded his horse. His horse ran to them, and their swords showed no remorse, and broken apart was this mirror of his great grandfather. Hussein rode like a bird mm. to its nest rescue. The angel of death toward its prey flew. Akbar's scent was no more. He says, oh son, how I miss you. And the eldest sat by Ali the elder. Cleansing Ali's wounds, his tears rained like a monsoon. A sight that turned to tears, even the harshest of sand dunes. I saw the sun cradling a shattered moon. The moon's soul left burnt by the sun's despair. Each tear that fell on Akbar's blood caused ripples. From grief, earth forgot that the, that the sun it circles. Mm. And here a father with his own soul grapples, trying to not let it leave Karbala. No father can bear the loss of his own son. Imam Hussein says, no father can bear the loss of his own son. When your head was struck, I felt crippled the sun. And when your soul left, oh my son, I felt like mine had gone and my lifeless body could move no further. Hussein takes him to his tent, his last abode. His mother sees him walk and taunts her the road. From wails the pupils in her eyes explode. What mother buries her son? What mother? Hussein says, are you not Ali? Are you not Muhammad? I see a youth drowning in the blood that he's bled. To the edge of death, oh my beloved, I'm led because I'll see you again. Thereafter, oh my first son, named after he, not fourth, but first. My tongue strangles my throat, knowing of your thirst. I wish the veins of my eyes from tears would burst so that I can feed your dead tongue water. So that I can feed your dead tongue water. We send our salutations and our salams to Imam Hussain who had to bear this horrible tragedy of seeing his son Al-Akbar killed in front of him. And through the heart are crippling, just like the poem mentioned that Imam Hussain felt the sun itself crippled. The hearts are almost crippling, almost about to implode, knowing that just after a mere few hours, Ashura will be upon us. Inshallah, tomorrow we'll be doing our last, uh, second to last show on the eve of Ashura, where I'll be joined once again by Sayyid Ali Nawab. And we'll be concluding our series on the journey of Imam Hussain from Medina to Karbala. And the lessons finally that we can, the final lesson that we should be able to take from his journey. And don't forget as well that at 10 p.m. UK time, 12 a.m. Karbala time, uh, the, uh, this segment, this show will begin with a segment called Welcome to Karbala, which is your opportunity to call in and send your salams to Imam Hussain Islam. And it will be concluded by a session with me and Sayyid Ali Hakim where we'll be reciting some poetry and lamentations in honor of Imam Hussain Islam. Then there will be a final show on the day of Ashura for Sham Gariban, uh, dealing with the aftermath of the tragedy. Inshallah, we'll see you once again tomorrow. Please do not forget some of your du'as and we'll remember you in ours. Wassalamu alaikum jami'an wa rahmatullahi. Yeah, yeah.